Welcome to Woggle Guides. In this guide, I'll explain how you can quickly set up read receipts on the free version of Gmail. Let's get straight into it. I'm logged into Google and I'm in my Gmail inbox. Unlike the paid workspace version of Gmail, the free version doesn't have a read receipt feature. It is possible to set it up, however, using free extensions available for your Gmail account. I'll show you how to do that in this guide in five simple steps. Let's look at how to do that now. The first thing we need to do is go to the Chrome Web Store. You can find that by moving your mouse pointer to the right hand side of your inbox. You'll see there are a number of icons shown there. We're interested, however, in the three dots or ellipsis icon shown in the top right corner. If I click on that, a number of options are shown. However, we're interested in the extensions option shown a little way down that list. If I move to that, some additional options are then presented, but I'm going to choose to visit the Chrome Web Store. Once on the Chrome Web Store, we want to search for an extension that will allow us to add read receipts to Gmail. Perhaps unsurprisingly, I'm going to search for Gmail read receipt. A number of extensions are then presented, but I'm going to choose the email tracker for Gmail. Let's click on that once to open it. To install that extension, all I need to do is click on the Add to Chrome option. This will install the extension on the Chrome web browser and it will be activated when we log into Gmail. To confirm that installation, I'll click on the Add Extension button. Chrome then confirms that the email tracker has been installed. Now in order for the read receipt tracker to work with our Gmail account, we need to connect it to Google. I can do that by clicking on the button shown on screen. If you have multiple accounts on your computer, as I do, you may be asked which one you want to associate with the Mail Tracker. I'll choose my Woggle Guides account. The Mail Tracker and your Gmail account are now linked. As you can see, there are some paid for options for the Mail Tracker. However, we're going to continue to use the free version. Let's close those windows now and we'll return to our inbox. Turning to the top right of Gmail, you'll see that our Mail Tracker extension is shown there. Let's now take a look at how the tracker actually works. I'll start by sending a mail to my friend Otto. As you can see, the mail tracker is automatically added to the email now, although you can remove it if you wish to by clicking on the small x. For good measure, I'll also send an email to my friend Lucy. Once that's done, let's take a look at Otto's inbox. You'll see the email has been received with the tracker, and I'll click into it to confirm that we're notified of that on the Mail Tracker extension. So let's now return to our original inbox and I'll open the Mail Tracker extension shown in the top right. Specifically, we're interested in the email tracking report. Now on the page that's presented, by default, we're shown the last open mails, but I'm interested in who has not open mails as well. So I'll move to the dropdown at the top of the page and I'll change that to show all emails. You'll see this confirms that the email we sent to Lucy hasn't been opened as well as showing that Otto has opened the email that was sent to him. I hope you found this Woggle Guide useful and learned something new. If you have, please like this video or subscribe for free so that you can find out when new guides are available. Thanks for watching and do look after yourself until next time.